Hey guys, I wanted to do a quick video on uh, how I have been bank switching my modem here. So I found the easiest way of bank switching this, first of all, is to actually have a serial connection so you can see what the modem's doing, um, which you can see right here. But I'm going to show you how I've been bank switching, and if you follow what I'm doing uh, and time it to how I'm doing it, then hopefully just by watching this video as you do yours, you won't need... Um, to see what yours is doing. So we're going to start by turning the machine off. So modem's dead. Not doing anything. So we're going to turn it on. Now I'm waiting for it to actually start booting Linux. So right now it's, it's waiting to boot from Bank One. Right, so now it's about to start the Linux kernel. So at this point, I'm going to switch it off and on really quick. And it's going to try attempt number two. If you take too long in switching it off and on, it will um, not see it as a failed attempt. Uh, if you turn it off and on real quick, I'm not 100% sure what's happening. Uh, I'm under the assumption that either the processor loses power enough that it has a mistake, but it's still on. Um, here we go again. Same thing, so the um, at that point when I double tap this, you'll see all the lights flash for a second. So here we go, attempt number three. Um, so yeah, basically my assumption of why this works is uh, it's losing enough power that there's a, like an error, but not enough that it turns off. Um, all right, now again, we're loading Linux, so we'll go back and uh, true it again for the third shot. Again, see all the lights come on there, and there we go, bank two. Bank one failed three times. So hopefully, um, if you just do yours in time with how I've done mine, uh, hopefully you won't need the console, and at this point you'll be booting into bank two. Thanks for watching.